So this is the matter. Basically at this point you have an event that you can dispatch at any moment. That's pretty cool. But when are you exactly going to dispatch that? You know that is going to be when login or when logout. But how can you handle that? How do you know when a user logs in or when a user logs out? So fortunately for you, Laravel takes care of that. Laravel is going to throw or trigger, let's say, an event when a user logs in and an event when a user logs out. So you just need to, let's say, listen to that event and dispatch your OR, basically broadcast your new event, the one that can be broadcasted on real time with a specific message depending of one or other. So Laravel is going to take care of you, is going to dispatch an event, but that event is not directly broadcasted in real time. So you need to listen one event to then broadcast on real time another event from the session changes. And for that, we just need to create a listener. In fact, two different listeners. One to be executed once the users lock in and the other one once the user logs out. So let's go to create our listeners and you might be guessing good, we are going to use PHP Artisan again from our common prompt and there exists something called make listener. There, we just need to specify a name for that listener. In this case, we are going to start with the user login one. And as the name says, once this listener is executed, this is going to broadcast the user login notification using the event that we already created. So let's to press enter and there we have a new folder into our app folder as well, which is listeners. There we have the broadcast user login notification. So what it is going to do? Well, not a lot. We just need to handle the definition of an event. And what is the event in this case? Well, it is just login. So let's to type hinting this. Be sure to import the definition. We have this coming directly from illuminate out events login. And then we just need to broadcast our own event because we are going to dispatch this on real time sending the message. So we are going to dispatch or broadcast a new instance of the message or the event that we created on a previous class, which is user session changed. Let's import the definition. And remember, this event needs to receive two things. The first one is the message and the second one is the type. So the type in the case of login is going to be success. And the message is going to be a little different because it is going to depend on the user. And fortunately, for this login event, we can get access to the user. So let's just start with that. We have the event, then we can access the user and the name of that user. So it is going to say John Doe, test one, test two, whatever the name of the user is. And we're going to say this name is online. That is the message. That's all that we are going to broadcast here. So basically, this is going to be the same logic in the case of the logout. We are going now not to listen to login. We are going to listen to logout, which is a different event. So let's go just to duplicate this because it's going to be very similar. But of course, the name now is broadcast user logout notification. So let's to copy that. Be sure to change the name of the class here. And then we are going to receive again an instance of logout. Be sure to import the definition. This is coming basically from the same location of login. You can see it there. And we just need logout, of course. So there we are going to dispatch or broadcast a user session change, which is good. But this time, the type of this message of this change is danger to get that in red. And of course, we are saying that the user with that specific name is not online, is of course offline. So with this, we have the listeners for that. But how can we say to Laravel which listener to execute with what event? Well, we can do that directly in our providers, directly in the event service provider. There, you can say which listener to execute after what event. In this case, you can see an example 
when the event registered is executed, well, Laravel is going to dispatch a listener or call, basically, a listener sent email verification notification. So we are going to follow basically the same. This time, we are going to do that for the login event. Once again, be sure to import the definition of login. And the only one listener that we are going to dispatch is broadcast user login notification. Once again, be sure to import the definition. That is it. And we are going to do basically the same for the logout. So we have logout as the event. And the listener that we are going to call is broadcast user logout notification. Once again, be sure to import the definition of the event and of the listener. So there you have all the definitions. And once we have this, Laravel knows what to execute once the user logs in and once the user logs out. And then this is going to broadcast the event that we have there. So let's do the book a little. Let's to see how it is working. Not in real time yet, but how it is working on the backend in the way that we can be sure that this is being thrown or basically handled when that events happen. So for that, let's go to our original event and we are going to add some debug message in the log. So let's do call to log the book. Be sure to add this backslash at the beginning to don't have to import the definition. This is just a temporal matter. And there we are going to show the message and basically the same for the type. So once the user logs in, we are going to broadcast or call the broadcast user login notification listener. And this is going to broadcast the user session changed with this message and this type. So let's go to do it. If we go to log in, we have a user created, which is test one. Let's to log in. And it looks like I have a little error, let's say. It's an undefined variable message on this line. And yes, of course, because I'm not referencing that as the attributes from the class. So let's go there. This should be using this and referencing the attributes instead. So let's to go back. Let's to refresh. I'm going to log out and log in again. So at this point, we registered the log out event and let's to register the login one. So if we go to our log, which is located on storage logs, laddable.log, we can go to the bottom after the error definition here. And you can see first the log in one, test one is online, and the log out one, test one is offline. Now, if you are saying this, that means that the drivers is still being the log. And that is pretty natural because even when we have the .m file saying pusher, if you didn't stop your PHP artisan serve like me, so you just need to stop that, of course, and start it again. And then this server is going to take into care the latest definition and configuration of the project. That means that if I remove all this content, just to be clear on this, and try to, for example, log out, you are going to see this being broadcasted even when there is nothing listening. And you can see test one is offline and the type is danger. So this is working. This is broadcasting the event. And now we need to be sure to listen to that from the front end and execute the corresponding actions. So let's to see how to do that in the following class. See you there.